Welcome to HO Power Train. So today's video will be showing you guys what I did to get the roundhouse where it's at and everything that I've done with the turntable. More or less a roundhouse though. Oh, and the platform. Okay, so if you watched the last videos, you'll understand that 90 foot Walters turntable here, I had a whole hoorah of troubles, okay? We got her going. So those of y'all wondering, with the 90 foot turntable, and the front of that base of that roundhouse is five and a half inches to this turntable, giving it the right geometry to set those tracks in. Anything further just will not work. I'm sure you can come closer, but I just went ahead with the geometry of five and a half inches from the turntable. Another thing to note is the gaps. So you can see how large that gap is. It's quite a bit of gap there, but as you can see, it does not affect anything. Granted, I still have to wire this for DCC. That will be requiring me running a bus wire all the way through this section, through here, out into there, into this portion here, and going right up under our mountain and connecting to the red, black, big bus wire there. That's another little project. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I did glue this in with Elmer's glue, white Elmer's glue. And let me tell you, Elmer's glue, such as you can see here on the track, and here is a pretty much bulletproof glue all, okay? <laughs> Come see, I'll show you why. So keeping on the topic with the glue, which we're gonna get to in one second, I wanna talk about this plywood here, everything here. Okay, this is all 3-8 plywood, supported fairly decent, got cross braces and everything. But as time went on with this, it did warp in some spots and it did get on level in a couple of those spots. So what I had to do is put some bracing on it because what was happening, this plywood was wanting a belly. So we got this fixed, this part, which you couldn't see, but this is fixed. Here, where you see the screw was creating an upwards in the plywood, so it was raising the track a little bit. So I put a vertical brace going down, screwed it to the bottom base, and brought this top down with it. Pretty much I sucked it down. Along doing that, we get into the glue topic. I forgot to watch out for these tracks when I was doing that moving, and these tracks went with the platform so it was up and down creating a bend as you can see i got a socket on this part but what happened i had to go in and break this glue out and i chipped it out broke it out as you can see there's remnants of it but let me tell you that was not easily to chip out and reset so you can see i got some more glue that's reset but yeah you see that that glue works <laughs> So yeah, that's basically what I wanted to show you guys. I kind of got it level. That end seems a little bit lower where the drill is at. I'm gonna give it some time, see what it does, and I can always twist it back up. It's not hurting too much if it's anything. But uh, yeah, um, if you're doing your bases and platforms, guys, make sure it's secure, thick enough, and I do regret not putting foam on this part. I wish I would've put the foam. Looking back on it, I do not like working with track on straight plywood. Period. There's a reason why a lot of model railroaders put foam. So guys, that's where we're at with this part here. Coming up, I'm going to lay a track as you can see in here. But of course, I got to put the main leading track into here. Want to figure out something in this area, another little industry. I want to kind of clutter this up, you know. A model railroad does not look right, in my opinion, if it's not cluttered. It's got to be cluttered, yes. <laughs> So there's the overall view of what we got. And I still gotta add where those train cars to the right of those train cars, where that switch is at. My other line and one more for the turntable. So 
so we can get all this going. Meanwhile, later on by that door, I may put another loop so I can return my trains back into here. So anyway, guys, thank y'all for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'm very sorry about my lives not wanting to work with me. It's my internet. It works some days, some days it doesn't. So bear with me, guys. We always will be here. And thank y'all for tuning in to HO Powertrain. Peace out.